Yo guys, Josh here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing all right. Let me know down below in the comments. So today we're going to be installing LifeX beams into the setup behind me. Uh, now, if you're new to the channel, I actually already have a main gaming setup on the other side of the room, but I recently put this one together just as a little kind of fun project. And uh, yeah, we're on the journey to making it look awesome. So if you're not subbed already, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Now, unfortunately, guys, the new desk is going to have to wait a couple of weeks because IKEA delivery times are just absolutely crazy at the moment. There's loads of shipping delays. Uh, but in the meantime, I thought it'd be fun to install the LifeX beams. So Josh, how come you went for LifeX beams and not for nano leafs? Well, for a start, I already have nano leafs. Um, I'm actually going to be relocating them from where they were because I've kind of shifted the room around a little bit. But yeah, anyway, if you look at this space, it's actually pretty small. It's only 1.8 meters across and we've also got a slanted roof as well, which kind of makes it feel smaller than it is. And I just feel like nano leafs would kind of clutter the space too much. So that's why I went for LifeX beams, just because I think they look a little bit cleaner and a little bit more minimalist. So we've got the beams right here. Let's go unbox them. Here we go then, we've got the box here. Let's uh, open it. So first of all, packaging looks pretty good. Uh, very colorful and we've got some magnetic kind of things here to help us open it. So pop this open, um, take this off and we should be greeted with the beams. So these are the beams. You get six of them all together. Um, they are 30 centimeters each. So in total, you're going to have about 1.8 meters of uh, beams. Plus we get a corner piece as well, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Uh, but yeah, that is the beams. I'll show you them a bit closer up. So this is the back. Um, we've actually got command strips pre-installed and these things guys are legit. They're really good. Uh, basically, it's almost like a Velcro system. So what happens is, is you uh, peel this off, you stick them onto the wall and then you can pull them off. So it will leave one piece on the wall and then one piece on the beam. So if you did mess up the installation a little bit and you needed to adjust the angle ever so slightly, um, you could do. And plus they have these pull tabs as well. So when you do need to come to taking them off the wall, uh, the strips that is, you can just pull them and they come off really easily. I've used them tons of times before. So uh, yeah, really cool that we get those pre-installed. So this is the beam itself. It feels pretty good quality. I mean, obviously they are very expensive, but it feels like a polished product. Um, over here, you can see we've kind of got the, um, if the camera focuses. Yeah, we've kind of got like a magnetic connector here. So they actually snap together. Um, see if I can show you guys. You can kind of see they snap together. So pretty cool. Not the strongest magnets in the world. I mean, they're not gonna like hold it up on its own, but um, yeah, they snap together. And then under here, we get the rest of the stuff. So this is just like a kind of quick start guide, I guess, pretty standard. Um, got some more instructions here if you can't work out how to use them. And then we've got all the power connectors. Um, before we look at that, we've got the brick here. So this is to be able to change the angle. So if you want to change um, from going like straight to a 90 degree, you can do that with this piece here. Uh, again, it's just got these kind of magnetic connectors on. So just attach it to one piece and then to another. Um, I think I'm gonna be running like four straight and then the right angle connector and then another two. Um, I'll show you guys a little bit more on the wall in a second. And then finally, we just got the power connector. So it comes like this with the power brick and then we have a load of connectors. So obviously I'm gonna be using the UK one. Uh, it just kind of snaps in like, I think we've got it. No, we haven't. Now we have. So that's in like that. And then you just grab this piece, which is the box that connects it all. And then stick that in there, plug it into the wall. And then on this other side, we've got like a magnetic connector, which just snaps onto the beams, like the beams snap onto each other. So yeah, pretty nicely packaged. And um, we're gonna go and set it up on the wall now. So let's go. Alrighty then guys, so here is the wall. I'll try and explain to you what I'm gonna do. Um, so over the past few days, I've been kind of sketching up designs to see what would look the best. Um, because the reason I said earlier I didn't go for the nano leafs is because this is a small space and I don't want it to look cluttered. Having said that, the beams, I tried doing like a sketch, going like an L shape like that. Um, it looked pretty bad. And I also tried an L shape going like that. And I don't know, I think it's the 45 degree roof, but it just looked weird and kind of made the space feel small. So I've decided the best thing to do is gonna to be to follow the angle of the wall. So we're gonna start about here. I've actually sketched it up, but I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, so we're gonna start here, run up the wall. Then when we get to about there, we're gonna pull a 90 degree angle and do another two beams down to about here. So I'll show you the sketch on screen if you want now. It looks pretty bad, but um, yeah, you can get a general idea of it. And then I think potentially I'm gonna put a shelf in the middle at some point to kind of frame everything in a triangle. 
Um, now, obviously, we've not done any cable management or anything, so I think I'm just going to pull this desk out uh, and the PC as well so that we can get access to the wall. But um, yeah, let's go and install them. All right, guys, that's everything gone from the setup now then, so I should be able to access the wall. Uh, I don't think I should even need a stool because I think I should be able to just about reach. So we're going to try and put the first beam in now. This beam is important because if we don't get this right, then the angle of the rest of the beams is not going to run parallel to the wall. So got to be very careful with this first one. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, so we've got the first beam here, so we're going to try and make sure we get it right. Um, you can see here I've got like a pencil line that I drew yesterday. Um, and basically what I did was I got a ruler and made sure that all the way up it was exactly 25 centimeters um, So the angle should be just perfect now Of course as, as long as we get the first one in correct the rest will just join on and it'll be no problem uh, Just got to make sure we're a little bit careful. So uh, we've got the command strips here So how these work is you pull off the little kind of top layer uh, to re reveal the adhesive see if we can get them off here we go. So these are very strong um, and I think what you're supposed to do with them, because I have used them before, is uh, peel these off, stick them onto the wall, um, press for like 30 seconds and then you just leave them on there for like an hour I think and then you pull them off and then you remount them. Uh, whether we'll actually need to do that because these are very light, um, I don't know. But anyway, let's install this thing. You also have to make sure that you get it the right way round because the pins, uh, the ones that actually point outwards, is where the connector joins. So we need to make sure that that bit is at the bottom so that we can attach the um, kind of power brick to it. All right, so I've checked the angle and I think this should be about perfect. So like I said, the good thing is about these Velcro uh, kind of command hooks is that you can move them ever so slightly if you needed to because they kind of, yeah, it's like Velcro. Um, but yeah, obviously we want to make sure we get it right. So we'll hold this on for the suggested period of time and then we can start joining all the other ones onto it. Okay, so as you can see, that is like super secure. It's definitely not falling off. So we'll grab the rest of them, stick them up. That's three of them installed. Pretty easy so far. Uh, you just have to make sure that you get the magnets to kind of snap together properly, but hopefully they're all good. So we're gonna have one more go up the wall and then we're gonna pull the 90 degree angle. All right, so that's all the beams running like that way up the wall. I think we've got the angle right, just kind of eyeballing it. Um, like I said, we can always slightly readjust it if we need to later. Uh, but now we've got the corner piece to put in, which is this piece. Uh, so we're going to pop that there and then we'll uh, do the 90 degree angle. One weird thing I just noticed, guys, is that this doesn't actually come with any 3M tape on it. So it kind of just is held in place by the other beams, which is fair enough. But um, yeah, just kind of weird. So we'll put this piece just in here like that and then once we've got the other beam in it should kind of hold it in place nicely. Right, just two more to install then. Again, same thing. Just take the strips off here. Make sure the connectors are the correct way round and then we can slot it in. The angle might look off to you guys to be fair because of the ultra wide lens but um, yeah, to me it looks pretty good. There we go guys, what do you reckon? Pretty good. Uh, I think we got all the angles right. I'm just eyeballing this one here and it looks pretty much exactly parallel to the roof, which is good. Um, only one I think I might have to just adjust slightly in a little bit is that one because I feel like it needs to go uh, kind of upwards a little bit more. Um, but yeah, that's fine. We can always adjust that. Uh, but I quite like the design. I'm looking forward to seeing how it looks with the desk in and everything and then we'll get it all powered up and see what kind of effects that we can play with. And here we go guys, all completed. I've put the PC back in place along with the table and the monitor and turn them on and they look absolutely amazing. They give like the entire corner like this really, really cool vibe. Um, they're extremely bright. It's kind of hard to show you on camera just how bright they are um, and how vibrant the colors are. But yeah, they look absolutely amazing. You'll have to let me know in the comments as well guys what you think of the pattern. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. It's a little bit quirky. I've not seen uh, anybody do that kind of shape before. Uh, people normally just go for like the standard L shape, but yeah, I think it looks good. We're potentially going to be putting like a shelf just, just above the monitor as well. Uh, but if we do that, it'll be in another video. I'm just going to grab my phone out and boot up the app and then I can show you guys a few of the effects just briefly that you can kind of do with the LifeX beams. 
So we're in the LifeX app now, so if I just press this button, they should turn on. And uh, you've got your generic kind of color wheel here, so we can put it up to the top and uh, change between all the colors and it kind of just changes the entire bar. Um, so pretty self-explanatory. We've also got the brightness here as well, so we can dial it all the way back. And you guys can kind of start to see how vibrant the colors are now because they're not blown out. Um, but yeah, that is that. We've also got whites as well. So say if you were doing like a kind of minimalist set setup, um, you could set it to white and just dial it back a little bit. And you've got quite a sleek look just there. Um, or you could use it as bedroom lighting. So it looks kind of cool because it does kick out a ton of light. Um, then if we move over to themes, this is where it gets interesting and you can kind of blend colors together. Um, we've got a bunch of presets here. So if we click on one, it will kind of set it to a blend of those colors. Um, if you're not happy with how it's blended them, you can just click it again and it will kind of shift where the colors are on the bar, which is really cool. Um, just gives you a bit of inspiration as well. So you don't have to decide on everything yourself. Uh, show you a few of the others. This is the kind of pink and orange preset. Do like that one. It gives good vibes. Um, we've kind of got more RGB effects here. So if you want like a rainbow effect, you have that. And there's another one here as well. Very kind of bright and vibrant. And then uh, we do also have a blue blue one somewhere. Is it this one? Yeah, this is kind of like blue and pinks. Um, and this one is as well. And this one. So yeah, there's literally tons of effects here. You can kind of play, play with them and go through them all. Um, I think I will be doing a full review of these. So I'll go through the effects a little bit more in the review. Uh, but that's just kind of a general overview. And then in palette here, if you really want to, you can actually paint the uh, beams yourself. So if I select um, let's go for green and kind of just tap on here. You can see it actually paints it in real time, which is very, very cool. And uh, it just gives a little bit more flexibility in terms of customizing it, I guess. Uh, but yeah, for now, I think I'm just going to stick to mainly the themes because they give you just some nice colors um, and they look really good. The other thing you can do with them is you can actually animate stuff. Now, this feature is a little bit sketchy on the LifeX app because I always find it loses connection and you have to have the app open at all times. Uh, but if we click on animate and then we run the beam with the exciting theme and press play, um, it should start to animate the colors. So you'll see them slowly start to uh, blend together and they do look very smooth. Sometimes it takes a few seconds for it to activate, but it should do. Is it moving now? Yeah, it is moving. So I know it's quite bright, so you guys might not be able to see it properly, but you can see the colors are changing there. So it does work. Uh, but like I said, it's sometimes a little bit iffy with the connection if you close the app. Um, potentially to get around this, you could boot up the app on PC and then have it always run in the background. But yeah, I need to give that a try. So there we go, the LifeX Beams. What do I think of them? Um, I think they're really good. Are they worth the money? Again, it's one of those questions people always ask like, are Nano Leafs worth the money because they're so expensive? And I guess you could make them for cheaper yourself because at the end of the day, yes, it's just LED strips and kind of like a diffusion layer. But I think for the level of polish they've got on the actual product construction is very good, very easy to kind of put together and everything and mount on the wall. Um, the only complaint I have is the app because I always find the LifeX app is a little bit dodgy connection wise, um, like it sometimes drops out, but I'll keep on testing it. And then, like I said, I can do a full review and uh, give you guys an update on that. But am I happy with them? Yes, 100%. I think they look amazing and uh, I can't wait to get this whole setup finished. Um, like I said before, we've got to get a new desk. So the desk is going to fill this space, which should look a lot better. And we've got to make a start on cable management as well to get this all looking clean and all finished up. So if you're not subscribed already, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you can be notified of new videos. If you enjoyed the video today, a like rating would be appreciated because it helps out with the whole YouTube algorithm and stuff. Drop a comment below to let me know what you think of the LifeX Beams. Do you think they're worth it? Would you pick some up for yourself? And finally, guys, if you want to catch me over on Instagram at Tech Tesseract, you can do. Um, I'm a lot more active on there now. I tend to post a lot of behind the scenes stuff. So if you want to catch me on there, feel free. With that being said, I hope you guys all have an awesome week. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.